In order to graph an equation like this, which is in slope-intercept form, I can consider this compared to the general slope-intercept form. So in this case, we see the negative 2 is my m and 4 is my b. Therefore, the slope of my equation represented by m in the general slope-intercept form is going to be negative 2 for a rise of negative 2 for a run of 1. And the y-intercept, represented by b in my general equation, is going to be 4. Now, to graph it, I'm going to start with my y-intercept, which we said is 4. So it crosses the y-axis at 4. From there, my slope tells me I need to go down 1, 2, and over 1. And I can do this repeatedly, down 1, 2, over 1, and put new dots there to represent the line. As you'll see, each time you go down 2 and over 1, we maintain a nice straight line. And if we want to go from the start, we can also go up 2 and back 1. That's going to be equivalent, just going in the opposite direction. Finally, I can connect them all. So this straight line represents all possible solutions, all xy pairs, which satisfy this equation, this linear equation y equals negative 2x plus 4. Hope that helps. Remember, we start where the y-intercept is, and then we follow the slope. Thank you very much.